Hello Virgo! Thank you very much for purchase Nope, for tuning in. I'm feeling like the energy is a little loud. I'm going to reshuffle these in a second, but... Um, I'm using the Daily Matero by Renata Lechner for the main cards, and I'm using the Supportive Cards, the Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish. Illustrated by Jesse Reich. Reich is R-E-I-S-C-H. I am going to actually shuffle these. I just feel like the energy is not quite there yet. So, you know, we're going to do messages for Virgo, empowering information that shows them the truth, helps them see what's going on, and helps them decide what they want. That's good. All right, yes, let's reshuffle these two. Empowering, supportive information that shows them possibilities and alternatives that will make things easier for them. That, okay. I didn't have to shuffle them that much, but still. Face down. Face down. Stop. There's a lot of face down cards here. There's one more face down card. All right, face down cards. We got five of them. I'm noticing the environment is completely face down. There's only two over there, but still. <coughs> I just feel like there's a lot of unknown here and it's connected to your outcome because the outcome is completely face down too. Let's see what we got going on. Now the situation you're coming into, it's like out of the frying pan into the fire. Whatever you came out of that got you into this situation, you were kind of like trying to get away, trying to like just move on from something. The Seven of Swords is kind of sneaking away in the night, just trying to move on from something, trying to not cause conflict, just move on, not be an issue. Just instead of cause, instead of dealing with something that could be a problem, just kind of like letting it be and just kind of letting it quietly drift off. And you were trusting that that was the best way to handle it. You honestly thought that was the best way to handle it is what I'm getting. It wasn't about getting away with anything or taking advantage of this or that. No, it was just about you thought that was the best way. Why caused conflict? I'll just quietly let this go away. I'll just quietly sneak away in the night and it doesn't have to be a big deal. So you, you were moving on for something, trying to move on for something quietly in the night. Didn't last, didn't work. Five of, five of wands popped in and said, oh no, oh no, we see ya. <laughs> nope, nope, we're gonna have a fit. We're, like, it, it didn't work. I feel like you tried to just kind of quietly walk away from something, not make it a big deal. You were trusting that it was the best way to do things, but it happened anyway. The conflict still happened, you didn't get away from it, is what I'm getting. You didn't. Whatever it was, the conflict that happened, I feel like it didn't last that long. The tower hit your side. It was a bad moment. I feel like it was a bad moment. Didn't want to really have it, but it happened anyway. But once it was over, once it was done, whatever happened, happened. The good cheer popped in with the Eight of Wands is telling me you moved right on from the situation. Tried to sneak away in the night, just not make it a big deal. It was what it was. Why make a big deal about it? Didn't work. It still happened. The situation blew up. You didn't expect it. You really thought you were going to move away from it. But once it was over, it was over. And you're like, well, at least it happened. At least it's done. Closure, I guess you could say closure moved on quickly you're like oh okay well it's ha it happened now it happened now we'll just all right let it go move on and just all right stepped out of it <coughs> stepped right out of it. all right now that the situation blew up i couldn't get away from it I tried to sneak away in the night so we wouldn't have to have this conflict but since it happened now that it has happened all right done is done and then you're like nothing left to be said now done out free i mean you moved quickly you're just you're like like, feet don't fail me now. You're out. You're out. What you don't know. Whoever this conflict was with, whoever it was, be it a job, a family member, or a friend, or whatever else, co-worker, whatever you got going on there, you're like, it blew up, it's over, and you just kind of like, you jet it out. You're like, now that it's been said, it's been said, done. They have the Knight of Cups face down here. Which tells me 
they wanted to correct the situation, not destroy the situation. When they called you out for walking away in the middle of the night, trying to get away from the situation without dealing with it, they called you out on it because they wanted to heal it. That doesn't seem like that's what actually happened, but that's why they did that. That's why they didn't just let you do that. That's why they didn't let you just go quietly. They wanted to heal it. They still have, they, they have the, the Knight of Cups. Like They have a lot of feelings. They really want you in their life. They really enjoy you. They didn't want to see you go. So that's why. That's the why of it. Now, what's coming forth next? They're coming back. Okay, that makes sense. They got the King of Swords. This is face down. You're not expecting it is what I'm getting. This is why it's face down because I'm like, why is this face down? You're not expecting them to come forward to you again. You moved on from the situation quickly. I'm out. Bye. Whew. Now that the blow up has happened, we've resolved it. Moved on. All right, moved on. Moved on quickly. You moved on quickly. What you're not expecting is the King of Swords. They're coming back towards you and they're trying to start communication. I feel like they're being very... I feel like they're being very nice, but they're very unhappy. They're sad that you're not around anymore. They want to try to heal things with you. And they're coming forth again because of this... That Knight of Cups energy is still there. I don't know. Did that just get fuzzy? I don't know if you could see those. I feel like my camera just went fuzzy. Maybe I'm crazy. They want to correct this. They still really enjoy you. They miss you in their life. They want you in their life. They're coming towards you. You're not expecting it. They're coming towards you. What I'm getting for you is the Four of Wands with the Harmony card. They're coming towards you in a very nice way. They're very diplomatic. They're talking things out. The way they're coming towards you, you find respectful. You like it. So you're working with it. You're going with it. And I feel like it's connecting in a way where you're feeling like the problem from the past, the blow up from the past at this point, it's being addressed, but it's also like this person is being kind to you. They're not pointing fingers or they're not angry anymore. I feel like they're a little bit apologetic for how things played out, how they're, they're more like diplomatic. You're not pretending that everything you did was perfect either, but you're not getting attacked for it either. You're happy. You seem to be working through things and it seems to be going well. This moment you're not expecting, but I feel like it's a comfortable, it's not bad. It doesn't feel bad at all. Now we got the three, the unexpected ending here. Due to the way this person treated you, and not until that happens with this four of wands and the harmony, not until that happens, not until after I should say, well, you start thinking of possibilities. Maybe this is something that can be healed. Maybe this is something that can come back. Maybe there's a lot here that's invested that needs to still be utilized. Maybe maybe moving on from this situation and letting it go is not the best option. This person came towards me. I feel a lot better about the conversation. I feel the past has been resolved. You have a lot of hope, a lot of ideas about, you know, where could this actually go? Is this worth recouping? The other side has the fool card. They're very optimistic. They really believe that you're going to come back towards them. Friendship, family member, coworker, whatever it is, even if it's a job. For some of you, oddly enough, I do feel like it's a job. Somebody wants you back at this old job. I do feel like they expect you to come back. <clears throat> the Fool card is telling me they really do feel you're going to come back. The Aphrodite's love spell is between the two of you. You're very happy with them. They're very happy with you. The question is, will you? Because that's an open-ended thing at the end here. It's not saying you will or you won't. It looks more than likely that you will. But it's up to you. I feel like this all at the end face down is you're not expecting to feel this way until until this moment happens. It's the respect, it's the respect and consideration you're getting right here. When things turn around and they come back towards you and they're like, you know, this, that, and we, I really wish you were around again. You're feeling very valued and honored. And I feel like that's why you're considering it. It's up to you at the end here if, if that's something you really want or not. It seems to me more than likely that you will go back towards it, but it's up to you. Clearly up to you. 
Anything else? All right, I think we got there. All right, so thank you for watching. Hope that helped. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.